and women of the home. So any lodge in, in the state of Massachusetts can go out there and conduct a degree or whatever Absolutely. they have to do. Absolutely. That's great. The, uh, the picture that uh, I'm presenting to you in the middle uh, shows uh, a, a very brightly colored uh, canvas. And what that represents is the fun time that uh, the Alzheimer's folks uh, have in chasing a ball, believe it or not. That was one thing that was found to be extremely interesting with cable TV. The channels that the folks really enjoy are the cartoon channels. Really? Yeah. And uh, we have a large screen TV down there for their enjoyment. And with the use of uh, the cartoons that are readily available, uh, their enjoyment and uh, excitement is elevated. Hmm. Uh, it's important to hear because we've uh, continued a, uh, a very positive approach to proactive uh, enjoyment. Yeah, I think the, uh, the whole style of living is something as an awareness that I share with you yeah. that uh, I want everybody to be aware of that the dignity, huh. and dignity is a big issue, yeah. is uh, one where we've brought caring, and that's a tradition with Grand Lodge, is caring and ensuring comfort. How does one get to be, uh, get to get into the home? Uh, what are the, what, can you tell us some of the requirements? Certainly, the uh, requirements to uh, make application to the home are if you are in the years past, and that'll be the example, uh, entirely destitute. It was always there for your uh, care. Uh, no one should go without. And the Masonic Circle uh, ensures that that consistency continues. Uh, there are uh, widows who wish not to be alone, though physically they have the capacities to do anything they wish. Men as well. Uh, in making application to the home, uh, if those that are in extreme need are given priority listing. Uh, and we have, uh, as I had mentioned very early on in this program, 164 out of the uh, total capacity of 168. And before the uh, end of the month is out, uh, the coming month, uh, it will be up to full capacity. The uh, happening of time changes residents sometimes rapidly, mm -hmm. sometimes not so rapidly. We have some residents who have been there for 12 or so a better years. Uh, Al Garrett, the uh, past master of uh, vintage age of 104, has been there since uh, 1993. Uh, oh, that's yeah. only five years, so yep. he was active. His sister at 102 resides there, and they communicate quite regularly. Uh, Do they fight like brother and sister? No, they don't fight like brother and sister. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they have a great presence. Uh, there are so many characters that are there that have so many opportunities, uh, whether it's a <clears throat> pool, a lodge, or dining. Dining is an experience up there. We have uh, food of the finest quality, and we ensure that we have maintained that uh, high standard that we're noted for. Uh, I, I had a friend, well, my brother-in-law went up there one time, and he was standing in the, in the doorway of the dining room, and just observing, looking into the dining room, and there was a, a woman in there setting up the tables. And she picked up a goblet, held it up to the light, and looked over, make sure there was no fingerprints on it, and put it back down again. It's, <laughs> it was spotless. Yes. Uh, making sure there's, you know, it, all the silverware shines the way it should, and oh, it's beautiful settings. Well, that's been maintained, and that same uh, caring from the staff who are enthusiastic about the, uh, the smiles that they share with the residents ensure that everything is kept in that spotless manner. I guarantee you uh, that you walking anywhere in the facility would never find a hint of uncleanliness, let alone odor. Oh, it it's, is, it's beautiful it's up spotless. there. spotless. Yes, yes, it is. We've just opened up uh, what is right now known as the Health Service Center. 
It's a beautician's uh, area with a waiting room, a barber shop sharing that same waiting room, and three doctor's offices all within that same space. Uh, it's colored with the psychology of color because it's inspirational. Uh, it has a set of doors going to the outside and to gardens that are outstanding. All handicapped accessible. Uh, and that's an important statement. You know, you, you would anticipate that it would be, but sometimes the, uh, the ease of entry and exit mm. is something that we uh, don't recognize quickly enough. Well, we do recognize it quickly enough, and it's in place. A couple of years ago, the uh, Grand Lodge had an opportunity to buy some, some condos that were mm -hmm. fairly close by. That's correct. And I believe they own seven of them, do they? That is also correct. And they're uh, open for... Uh,